in today's tutorial I have an absolute gem to share with you where I'm going to reveal the best time saving function in Adobe Illustrator. Let's jump right into the tutorial and waste no more time. So the time saving function can be found here under window and actions. In the actions panel you will see a list of actions displayed for you. These are shortcuts for certain processes. However, the really cool thing is that you can record and save your own processes. These can be used later for shortcuts and to save time, much like a keyboard shortcut, but way more in depth. And of course, they're customizable. You will soon see just how important and crucial these are for saving time in Adobe Illustrator. Firstly, click the fly down menu and make a new action. For the first example, I will make an action preset for a specific document setup, say for example when I'm designing a flyer. So give it a relevant name, and then if you want to you can give it a keyboard shortcut as well, and also a colour code. Then you simply hit the record button, and you should notice the red icon letting you know that Illustrator is now recording your every move. Now I'm going to create a new document with very specific measurements in size that I might want for a leaflet in the future. I will use two different artboards and also other settings that I want to use in a leaflet later down the line. Once I've created the document, I just head back over to the actions panel and hit the stop recording button. Now when I close the document and bring up the actions panel, all I ever have to do is click the leaflet design action and the very same document will open. Now how cool is that and it's obviously really useful for time saving. I'm going to show you next an even cooler and more efficient way of using the actions panel for saving time. Imagine you have a folder with a bunch of different AI documents in it, but you want to save all of those documents to JPEG. Now normally that would take quite a lot of time to perform, and let's be honest, it's quite a hassle. However, we can use the actions panel to vastly speed up the process, so let's go and add a new function for saving a JPEG. Like before, add a relevant name and then hit record. I will go up to file and then choose the save for web option, all the while the action panel is recording my every move. I will save the JPEG as I would any other time normally in my workflow, and then once that's been completed, I will stop the recording in the action panel. You can now see that the save JPEG action has been created. Here is the folder of the four AI documents that I want to save as JPEGs in a super quick time process. In the actions panel, with the save JPEG action highlighted, click the fly down menu and head down to batch. In the first option we can choose the folder in which we want to apply the action to. So I will choose the folder on my desktop with these AI documents. Then we just turn off the override functions here and choose the destination folder for the saved JPEGs. So now when I click OK, Illustrator will go into the folder and save all the documents within it as a JPEG copy. Finally, you will notice that all of my JPEGs have been saved onto the desktop for some reason, but yeah, you just need to play around with the settings in the actions panel, and of course, start saving time in your workflow. I hope you can see just how useful and awesome it can be to utilize the actions panel for your graphic design work. Remember, if you want to elevate your skills and awareness as a designer, just subscribe to Tutorial Graphics for weekly graphic design content. If you find my videos useful, Share them on social media because it really does help my channel. And of course, drop a like and a comment letting me know you enjoyed today's video. But anyway guys, until next time, design your future today. Peace.